Officially, the Korean War has never ended as a peace treaty was never signed. After the 1947 split up of Korea, the North launched a full-scale invasion of the South, marking the beginning of a devastating war. In this video, we will show you the top 10 Korean War movies of all time. Number 10. Battle for Incheon, Operation Chromite General Douglas MacArthur, played by Liam Neeson, sends a group of agents to North Korea so that South Korea's daring Incheon landing operation can take place. Although Incheon was a real military operation, the events of the film were fictionalized. This 2016 film was the first American and South Korean co-production since the 1981 feature Incheon. Although it was widely considered a success, when the prideful North Koreans were asked about it, they said that it was ridiculous bravado from ignorant lunatics. Number 9. The Long Way Home Set during the Korean War, three days before a truce came into effect, a South Korean soldier named Nam Bok had been given orders to deliver a sensitive document. Unfortunately for him, they fall into the hands of a North Korean soldier after he loses them. The two go head to head as they fight their own small battle over the papers. The success of the film has been credited to the lighthearted comedy mixed into the plot and the overall message that friendship can be found even in the most unlikely of places. Number 8. In Love and War This next entry is a 2011 South Korean rom-com that is set in June 1950. When a captain and his North Korean troops come to a small remote village, the people living there treat the army as best they can to stay in good favor with them. As the film progresses, genuine bonds begin to form between the villagers and the army. According to screenwriter Bae Se Young, the story is actually based on his own grandmother's experiences when a group of soldiers stayed at her home on the insistence of her father, who was the village leader. Number 7. Silmido In 1968, the Korean Republic Army made a plan to assassinate North Korean President Kim Il-sung. To do this, 31 criminals and death row inmates were inducted into a secret training camp to become expert killers. Two years into their training, however, the mission is called off and the unit is terminated. The film follows the true life events surrounding it and the reason why the mission was cancelled at the last minute. This film was so popular in South Korea that it became the first movie to sell over 10 million movie tickets nationwide. Number 6. 71. Into the Fire Directed by John H. Lee and starring Korean stars Cha Sung Won, Kwang Sang Woo, 71 Into the Fire was made to commemorate those who fought in the Korean War especially the student soldiers who were extremely important during the conflict. The film tells the story of a group of 71 undertrained student fighters who were mostly killed due to them being underarmed and outgunned during the Battle of Pohang Dong on August 11, 1950. Number 5. The Front Line Also known as Battle of Highlands, The Front Line is another South Korean war film that is set during the 1953 ceasefire of the Korean War. The film has some incredibly powerful scenes, including one at a river where both South and North Korean soldiers meet, following the armistice agreement being signed. The front line was selected to be South Korea's entry in the 84th Academy Awards for the best foreign language film, but sadly, it didn't make the final list. Number 4. Battleground 625 Welcome to Dongmak Gold, also known as Battleground 625, is a 2005 war film that was adapted from the original long-running stage play. The story is set in 1950 and involves North and South Korean soldiers, as well as an American pilot, all staying in a sleepy village that has no clue that a war has been declared. The stage and screenplays were credited for their originality by critics and at the time of its release became the highest grossing South Korean film in history. Number 3. My Way In a story of survival and based on actual events, My Way follows Yang Kyung Jong, who was a Korean soldier that was captured on D-Day by the Americans. Soon after, he finds himself fighting for the Japanese Imperial Army, then moves on to the Red Army, and finally, fights for the Germans. The film's brutal war scenes add a haunting realism to it, while the forced rivalry of two friends makes for a heartbreaking watch. Number 2. Joint Security Area Named the best film at the Blue Dragon Awards, Joint Security Area is regarded as one of the best films ever to come out of South Korea. When asked about the film, Quentin Tarantino said that Joint Security Area was in his top 20 favorite films list. The mystery thriller includes Korean stars Lee Young A, Lee Byung Hun, and Song Kang Ho. It follows investigators who are trying to discover how a fatal shooting could have happened within the DMZ, the heavily fortified border separating North and South Korea. Our number one pick is Tae Guk Ki, The Brotherhood of War. Our final entry in this list, Tae Guk Ki, The Brotherhood of War, tells the story of two brothers who are forced to join the army when the Korean War breaks out. 
The film includes some of the most groundbreaking war recreations, as well as a heartbreaking plot that educates viewers on the harsh and cruel realities of war. To date, the film is regarded as South Korea's biggest success, selling almost 12 million cinema tickets. The movie was rated an 8.1 on a scale of 10 on IMDb.com and received a Metascore of 64 on Metacritic. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.